Welcome back, everybody. I don't really know why I'm at Lookout Tower. Uh, I'm trying to sell some stuff before we move on, though. This episode is going to be devoted to building a home. Obviously, we already did the uh, Madison quest, so really shouldn't have any issues. I'm just going to go ahead and sell some stuff to the uh, merchant here. Come here. Yeah, come here. Oh, are you giving us the pirate quest that I've already done? Oh, very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Right, come on. I just wanted to sell you some stuff. <laughs> like, uh, we got some things that we can get some money from, which I'm going to need. I never like selling my last one, but seven's good. Um, let's go ahead and do the same with this. All of the two pads can go. Cool, and after selling everything, that was my target number for us to reach 10 grand. Um, and I could actually even save the diamonds for a rain day, which is rather nice. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back to Tarrytown. This is because I wanted to just have some storage space available. I want to put my... Um, my Lionel Killing weapon away. And maybe the PS Deity 200 weapon that I'm probably never going to use. Things like that. Just to free up some more space in the inventory will be nice for us, I think. So all we need to do, once you've done the Madison quest, is go ahead and speak to the NPCs that we spoke to before over in Tower Town. So that's what we're going to drift over and do. Uh, if we get this done quickly, then maybe we'll go and do that shrine over there, being as it's bright and shining right in my face. Um, before we go ahead and spend some time underground, probably going to go and spend all of my hearts finally get some food cooked um so that we can you know actually spend some time under there properly and we have a uh, shrine right here anyways but either way let's go ahead and speak to i can't remember what the name is now something son ronson i thought it was ronson as well <laughs> right uh dream home please let's go 1500 what a deal yay then we can go back to where we were a second ago. We're going to go ahead and start designing a home. Uh, I'm going to do something from the top of my head. I have like a just purely functional build across like two floors. I'm going to try to do something else though, I think. Let's try making something up. This could be interesting and funny at the same time. But I will at least go through like the controls with you, how this works. So that we can get all this done. I'm gonna go ahead and speak to this guy. He's gonna take us through a tutorial first with like three basic house parts that we get given. So let's get this on. So here are the rooms that we get given to start with. It's just a bed and a, and a foyer thing. Now, technically speaking, all you need to be do, need to do to be done here is have your blocks entirely within the barriers here. So we could just have one like go there, have one go there. If you want something removed, you can't sell these or anything. Uh, but all you need to do is instead of having them in there, you need them all the way out, placed out here. Look at me. Uh, but they don't even need to be like placed together or. Like <laughs> nothing needs to actually be done with the blocks, as long as they're within the barriers of the of the of the building area. You can do whatever you want with them. <laughs> Regardless of how silly it looks. Um. So let's try to do something a little bit interesting. I'm gonna try using two triangle pieces. Looks terrible. Uh, so we're gonna try a single floor build. That's what I'm gonna try for. Um, so come here, you. Let's go, start building. So I want one square bit. Yep. So I have to get more parts. We speak to this dude here, which is why 
I wanted to wait until we had more money because this gets expensive very fast. Um, I don't really care about them being furnished, but I guess it does look nicer. Uh, I think I'm going to want two of those. Um, I think I'm going to want one square room. And that should mean foyer on the front, two triangles. We're just going to turn that into two sides. It's two, four, and then I get a fifth. So that means we already have the bed taking up the fifth. That means we should be able to fit in a bow, weapon, shield, stand, as well as kitchen. So we're still missing space with that. So maybe we do extra triangle. Let's see if this is all going to fit, right? Because the... No room for another room. Oh, do I have to place them? Okay. Okay, let's build this a little bit first. So we're going to go with a bit of a starfish formation here. <laughs> so, let's see if we can get all this to fit. This is going to be completely experimental. Um, and we will do a tour at the end. Um, I did, honestly did not realise people would want to see the end product when I did my first one of these. Let's go ahead, we're going to place that over there. And then we're going to place some triangles on. So for now, I think it makes the most sense to have one on this side. One on this side. Probably going to go without a stable to begin with so that works out all right like that so far all right you can let me have another triangle now yeah. right then so let's now go with bow stand <laughs> Bow stand's probably the least useful, though. So if I do need to get rid of a weapon room, that one's probably the first to go. There are some nice-looking shields, so I like having shields. And weapon is the most useful to me, because I like to have room for my line of slaying weapon and any special weapons I feel like I want to display. Let's put those on. For now. So let's see if all this will fit. I'm not sure that it will, but we'll see. If I do need to put this uh, triangle wedge away, then that's just something I'll have to do. We're going to attach that to there. Just put this as central as we can. The, the biggest issue sometimes is that we just can't see um, the other side very well. But obviously, we know this is going to come out a bit, so it's got to go forward slightly. It always has to like move everything out of the way, which is kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and attach this then. Looks like there is plenty of space this side, so we might be alright with this. Let's attach the bedroom. Let's attach... What's that? That's one of the... Yeah, these are all... Galleries. Basically. Oh, you know what the issue is going to be, don't you? They're going to collide over there. This isn't going to work. Alright, okay. So let's take the triangle off. So in a second, what we're going to have to do is um, reset the build, basically. What I'm probably going to do is put stairs on. This is probably only going to end up with the second floor. The second floor is going to look terrible now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what to do with it? So, yeah, that's going to be two rooms, two rooms.
I think the issue a lot of people are having with this is it's very restrictive. <laughs> what we can actually do. That looked like it didn't place very well there. Let's try again then, I guess. Okay. Put this one on. question is, is this going to fit? Yeah, this will fit nicely, actually. Yep, space-wise, we're looking pretty good. Okay, let's have a look around that, see how that feels inside. So we want to... Uh, I'm done. Side, see how we feel. Obviously, this is probably going to end up being stairs now. Yeah, I think that's mostly okay. I'm probably going to switch this bit to a kitchen. The, issue, the thing is, I really want to have. A, um, what's this? This is, yes, this is my weapon one. So this is the one that's definitely staying. There's going to be shields. I may switch the bow one out. I take the bow one off. So that I can have kitchen. And then that saves me a space. I really like to have my prayer room downstairs, but... Mm -hmm. I guess, technically speaking, the prayer room is only down there. I just like to have it all right here. It's really nice having everything so close to a um, fast travel point. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to put a, uh, a prayer room there or a kitchen there. And I might even get rid of the shield one. I'm going to get rid of the shield one. They're, they're the least useful two for me. I'm going to get rid of both of those. And I'll keep the, the weapon one. That's okay. Um, the issue with that is it's going to be like, oh, you've got too many rooms out at once, isn't it? Because it's not going to have room to put new stuff in. So we want to take this one off. Annoyingly, right? Because we're going to wiggle this. It's going to move the whole building around. And the weapon one... Oh, man, you can't even see from the outside, can you? <laughs> uh, pretty sure this one was the weapon one. So I think this one should be the shield one. In a way to find out, right? Place those both outside. Let's have another reset to make sure I've got this correct. So that is in fact correct. So we're going to go ahead. We want a kitchen and a... We want kitchen and... Watch my Fugit. Kitchen and prayer room. Ah. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't do any more of those. Ah. Uh, we want... Kitchen. Uh -huh. I don't know why you'd ever buy another bedroom. What a weird thing to do. And bless room, that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Those placed on. Which actually means we're going to have a fair amount of decorative space, I think. Compared to my last build, I only had like two spare spaces at the end. We're actually going to have quite a bit here. By deciding to forego some of the slots that I would have used last time. Place that on there. That's good. Mm, did it place? No, it didn't. Do now, though. Then we want this one on the other side. So that's pretty good. Happy with that. And 
And so now we can either have like a load of gardens, I suppose, and a paddock, or we could make an upstairs area. I think we're going to make an upstairs area. So let's get set stairs. It's got six socks ah. left. That's not too bad. Let's get set stairs. What would I want up there, though? Ah. I'm thinking like maybe we could do double pond if it fits. But a pond fits like around the edge of one of these corners. Now, so it will be... I think about size here. It will be a 4x4. Four four. No, no, it won't be any bigger than that. 3 by 2 square should fit actually yeah so let's go stairs and two ponds let's see if that fits upstairs or how well it fits um need more rooms the issue is not going to get up there am I whilst we're trying to place stuff this is another issue <laughs> we can do outdoor stairs we can do outdoor stairs as well to be honest but we'll see how this looks in a second we're going to go indoor stairs and we're going to go Garden pond. Mm -hmm. oh. uh -huh. I'm ah. a flower bed while I'm at it. Just all things we can decorate with, really. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. So that's going to go on there. Easy. All right. See, so yeah, what I want to do is. Oh, look what you could do with those. So you could actually have. Like, if you wanted this to be like really cool, I suppose. It's a part of the uh, outside. You could have all those together, right? But let's let's try this. It's probably a bit ridiculous, really, but <laughs> why not? Let's give it a go. This could look there's so much space on there. This should fit nicely, right? Won't actually be able to get past it if you put it there. So it would need to come out if you were gonna do it this way. Right, so what would you place under there? Make that reasonable. Could put the paddock off here. That's going to stick out at a weird angle, isn't it? Could have a study that comes off this way. Wasted block, but could. Alright, let's try to see how this goes. The cool thing is, we have all of the important parts in here. Alright, we want it like this way. Against here. Might even go against the other side, actually. It's always so drastic with how it picks it up, isn't it? Right, so we're going to go with trying a study. See how that looks. Study. Single cell room. Does it, does it ever feel cheap to anyone else? Like that's a that's a single square by squ single square, right? Taking up the same amount of space as a as a four by four, two by two square. Like. Right. I don't think this is going to look very good, is it? We're going to try it. You never know. Alright, okay. So, let's go and have a look around now. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fiends can look a bit stupid. <laughs> Just can't get it to. You can't get it to look like actually nice, which is a shame. Unless you like cover it in garden everywhere. I guess that's a bit weird, but it does fix that. <laughs> the alternative is, wasteful as it is, we could turn it so that that side can't be seen. If we wanted. Inside, this is fine now. So you come in the foyer, all good. We've got all the functional parts. We've got the bed, the prayer room, the weapon storage, which is really the only one that I needed. Cooking, which is just obviously good convenience. Upstairs we have the pond. Which I would call the pool, if it didn't have fish in it. And we've got the rooftop pool. Now how big are they, those gardens? We could have rooftop gardens up here, right? Well. It would fit either side. Yeah, go on then, let's, let's do that. Silly as it is, let's do it. I don't think you can either even farm anything in the garden. It's a bit of a shame, really. Ah. <laughs> then again, I suppose if the garden was functional, like the farm, oh. all you'd see is hearty radishes in there, I suppose. Ah. So I could still get... I could get a garden and a paddock. Right, let's do another flower bed. <laughs> or we could have stairs to the upstairs. I do like the outdoor stairs idea. It's quite cool, actually. Um, I'm going to go with that. I don't want to put a paddock on it. It's going to make it look really unbalanced. Really unbalanced. Eh, we'll have a look. This is why I needed 10k. I'm indecisive like that. His noises, man. <laughs> they slay me a lot. Right, cool. Uh, I think that's the fence side. Facing out. So we're going to put one on there. Take this one off. This one on this side. Uh-huh. Oh my god. <coughs> Why is it attaching so badly? I'm in the middle of there. Come on, you can do it. I saw it stringing on. There we go, right there. No, why is it why does it keep on defaulting to that? What a weird thing for it to do. Wow, now it's dragging the whole house around. Ridiculous. Oh my god. I need that piece and I need it to come off. There we go. Link to this. No, not that. Yeah, there we go. Better. Right, so where would I put the paddock? Where would I put the paddock? <clears throat> you probably have to go on the back end or something. Although for utility, it should go there. That right hand side. That's got everything I want. Like I say, I don't really use spare shields very much. We have everything on us. I don't really need spare bows. We've got all the armor bows we need. Technically speaking, I don't really need... Um, spare weapon slots, but make sure that gate's the front, otherwise it's going to end well, is it? But um, I, out of the out of the display cabinets, I think that is the nicest for me. That's actually come out not so bad for this builder, I think. Uh, so let's go ahead, have this face towards. Oh wait, what? Let's... 
All right, okay. I think I think it's gonna grab everything then. I like having it face towards the shrine. That's the way that I come come to it from. Why isn't it? Yeah, there we go. He's getting in the way. That's why. Make it all lined up nicely. Like that. I think that's come out okay. What do you guys reckon? Just let me know. Uh, I'm done. I'm not spending more rupees on it. <laughs> it's kind of goofy, I suppose. But I actually don't mind how that came out. So, let's take a look around on the inside. So we get to come in the front. We got that there, just balancing the front out. It's a bit of a shame we couldn't just like put a door there, isn't it? Like, be able to get into the study. Not that, it, not we can do anything. It's a bit weird. We can't do anything. So we got the restrooms. We got that there. Can't even have a bathroom in here. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Upstairs for the recreational area, we've got a couple of gardens and a pool, making it look nice. Hopefully, you guys like swimming with fishes. I mean, the Zoras do anyway, right? So it's all fine. Let's have a look at it from the point of view of the shrine. There we are. I think I can live with that. I think I can live with that. Now, then, here is a trick that I don't think everybody knows. But just like having a bit of decoration, right? The light bulby things, right? They don't despawn, okay? So if you want to have a couple of these, maybe not there, around your, around your house, they're not a bad little decoration you can use. You could probably use some big ones as well if you wanted, right? Like that. Get some little ones around it. Now, the downside is, okay, uh, if you start building again, all of these could get immediately removed and you'll have to replace them. But it's just something you can use. You can't place them actually in the house or on the house, but you can place them around the house. So, you know, it's not necessarily as just plain everywhere. Don't think it works with any of the other plants, though. So just bear that in mind. That should make it look a little bit nicer. What I reckon. I have a couple more around here. That's close as you get to an actual planting garden. <laughs> so funny isn't it the things we go through right let's have a final look at this then and that is probably gonna be the end of the episode that took half an hour that's actually not too bad I, i'm actually not too uh not too worried about that there we are i think that came out okay I actually don't think that looks bad. Or as bad as maybe as it could do. So, hopefully that is helpful for you guys. Let me know what it is you do with your homes. In the next episode, we're going underground. We are going to start hunting some bosses. And so, uh, hopefully you guys will join me for that.